Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL518 once again proudly presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1981 postseason is on the air. Welcome to Oakland Coliseum. Today, it is Game 6 of the American League Championship Series between the New York Yankees and the Oakland Athletics. Last night, the Los Angeles Dodgers clinched the National League pennant and are now awaiting the winner in the World Series. Tonight, the Yankees lead this series three games to two. Will the Yankees punch their ticket for a rematch in the 81 World Series? Or will the Athletics hold them off and force a Game 7 tomorrow night? Anything is possible here on Inside Pitch, and pretty much everything does kind of happen. Last night was exciting. Will we have that same excitement tonight? BB, BB, and G Puck are first to join us here at Oakland Coliseum. Very simple for each team. If the Yankees win, they are in the World Series and are once again American League champions. If the Athletics win, they will force a Game 7 tomorrow night. The Athletics are trying to repeat as American League champions since they won the championship in the 76 season. They're trying to do it here again in 81, but the Yankees are one win away from a rematch against the Dodgers. I'll tell you the truth, guys. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but I'm sure it's going to be fun and exciting. And, of course, the two best pitchers are on the mound for these teams tonight. Steeler fan joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. So we are all set and ready to go. The World Series is on the line. Who will get there? Who will go home? Will we have a Game 7 or is it end tonight? Starting pitcher for the Oakland Athletics, their number one starter, Steve McCaddy. McCaddy has been excellent in this postseason. He has a record of two wins and no losses. He has not lost and no no decisions. McCaddy has been unbelievable, and McCaddy was the ERA champion in 1981, so he definitely is pitching like an ERA champion. Yankees lead three games to two. Let's get started as we go to the top of the first. Leading off for the Yankees, second baseman Willie Randolph. Randolph is batting 171. For the postseason, definitely above, below his average, he does have a home run. We are using yellow, white, and green dice. The Athletics are the home team. Everyone is getting set and ready. And no, and yes, big game seven are rigged. Will we have a coast-to-coast -coast World Series, or will it be an all-California World Series? Let's find out. McCaddy makes the first pitch. 1-5, that's at the park. Oakland Coliseum, 5-3, and that is going to be a fly ball to right, taken care of by Armis, and that is out number one. One down, and here comes center fielder Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey batting 278, a little under his average, but still very good for the postseason. McCaddy, he'll make the pitch. 3-1, that's an automatic out. And it will be another fly ball to left field. Henderson will make it there for out number two. Two outs, and here comes left fielder Dave Winfield. Winfield is batting 243 for the postseason. He is about 50 points under his average. He does have a home run in this postseason. McCaddy with the pitch, 5-2. That's a walk, and that 11 is going to walk Winfield. Winfield will trot down to first. Oakland Coliseum adds three to strikeouts, but that is all. And there was a good number of home runs hit there. So this was pretty much neutral to actually a hitter's part. So Winfield draws a walk. He'll go to first. First walk issued by McCaddy. He had 60 of them in 81. Woodman 564 joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. 
And that will now bring up the Yankee designated hitter, Reggie Jackson. Jackson is hitting like a monster. He's batting 367 for the Yankees, and he has four home runs this postseason. McCaddy has got to be careful with Jackson. There are two outs. Winfield, nothing happening at, thir at first base. McCaddy knows what Jackson can do. Here comes the pitch. 3-4. It is a blank. Jackson, 6-3, and he grounds one to second. It'll be taken care of by McKay. He will throw to first and retire the side. Only a walk given up to the Yankees, but nothing across as we go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the New York Yankees, their number one starter, Dave Rags Reggetti. Reggetti, eight wins, four losses, a 205 ERA. Reggetti, though, has had some struggles in this postseason. No wins, one loss, and one no decision. So, and Reggetti lost the game against the Yankees in the uh, first game of this series. The A's know that they could get to rags, and we will find out and see how well they do. Left fielder Ricky Henderson leads off for the Athletics. He is batting 303 for the postseason, round his average, and he has a home run. Henderson, best leadoff hitter in baseball history, and of course, the second most exciting player in baseball history. The only guy above him was some kid named Jackie. Reggetti will make the pitch to Henderson. Hiolai Heyday and Philip Reynolds join us here at Oakland Coliseum. Rags will make the pitch. 1-6. That's a walk plus, and that is going to walk Henderson. Reggetti goes ahead and gives up a walk. First walk issued by Reggetti, and Henderson goes to first. And if you're the A's, that's who you want on base. Infield will move to double play depth. And the next, and the next, uh, open it, I think not. And the next batter, center fielder, Dwayne Murphy. Murphy batting 290 for the postseason. He's hitting well. He's above his average. Infield is at double play depth. Does Henderson get the jump? A nine, he does not. Henderson a nine, but a minus one from Reggetti makes him an eight. He doesn't get the jump. Murphy is not going to hit and run here because he has a high strikeout rating, even though Henderson has a good chance of making it. But they're not going to do it. They'll swing away. Reggetti with the pitch. 5-3. Another walk plus, and he walks Murphy. And Reggetti already having control issues. Second walk issued by Reggetti. Probably didn't need his Wheaties today. And already the A's have runners at first and second. No one out. Here comes the Athletics designated hitter, Cliff Johnson. Johnson batting 206 for the postseason. He's under his average. He does have a couple of home runs. Strategy roll. Henderson. He does get the jump to steal third, but I'm not going to send him. Reggetti will go ahead and make the pitch. 4-1, strikeout 5, and he got him. He will get Johnson. Reggetti walks the first two and then strikes out Johnson. That's the first out. First strikeout for Rags. He had 89 of them in 81. Here comes a hitter that definitely needs to pick it up. Here's right fielder Tony Armis. Armis only batting 182. He is not doing a good job for the A's in that cleanup spot. Strategy roll. That is a five. This time, Henderson does not get the jump. He'll stay put. Rags will make the pitch. 5-2 against a righty. It's a blank. Armis, 3-6, and it's a fly ball to right field. Getting under it is Gamble. He will make the catch. That is the second out. Henderson, a base running rating of four uh, on a fly out to right. He will make it to third. So Henderson goes to third base, and maybe if I did send him to steal, maybe he could have scored on a sacrifice. But still, it's early. You got to let your hitters hit a little bit. So Henderson goes to third, two outs, and here comes the catcher, Mike Heath. 
Heath is batting 194 for the postseason so far. Yes, you can have a double steal. You can have a double steal. You, you can do it if you wish. You can do it in your wish. But remember, though, it all depends on the attempt. It's the attempt rating that decides if you can have a steal or not. This is just their chances of getting it. Minus, of course, minus or plus the, the pitcher and the catcher arm. I think, I, I think I've only done one double steal. I don't think I, I don't do many of them. Runners at first and third. Strategy roll. That is a six. Nothing happening. Henderson stays at third. The A's have a good chance to maybe get a run. Here comes the pitch from Rigetti. 6-1. Strikeout plus. Got out of the inning. Struck him out. So Rags Rigetti gives up two walks, then strikes out two batters and a fly to right, and the A's don't get anything out of it. And why do I have a feeling that's going to bite them in the buns later in the game? After one, there is no score. Rags comes through and gets a big K as we go to the top of the second. Leading off for the Yankees, shortstop Larry Milburn. Milburn batting 167. He is way under his average. A 167 average, 4 for 24 for the postseason. He's only in there against righties. Bucky Dent deals with lefties. McCaddy with the pitch. 4-1, strikeout 20. That is too high. Milburn, 2-5. That's a ground out to second. It's out number one. Yes, you knew about attempts. Wasn't sure about double steals. Yes, you can have a double steal. You just got to decide when you make if you're going to make a throw. If you're going to make a throw, you just got to decide where you, the, the base you're throwing to. Here's third baseman Greg Nettles. Nettles is only batting 143. For the postseason, he was injured for about half of this ALCS, and he is back in the lineup. McCaddy, a 6-2. That's an error on a throw. Nettles, 3-1. That's popped up. That's going to be a pop out to second. McKay is going to make the catch for out number two. And, of course, there's no throwing error there. Here's the first baseman, Dave Revering. Revering is batting 161 for the Yankees in the postseason. McCaddy, he'll go ahead and pitch. 2-5, that's a blank. Revering, 4-2, fly ball, right field. Armis has all the data he needs, and he will put it away to retire the side. 1-2-3. Go the Yankees. McCaddy off again to a good start as we go to the bottom of the second. Leading off for the A's will be first baseman Jeff Newman. Newman has been up and down this postseason, but he's hitting a respectable 250. It's above his average. And Jeff Newman actually does have a home run in the postseason as well. He has a bomb. Rigetti will make the pitch. 2-2, two, two, strikeout plus. 16, he'll get him. Struck him out there. And that's strikeout number three for Rags. One out, and here comes third baseman Wayne Gross. Gross is horrible. The worst batter of the postseason. He's batting 0-77 even under his average. Dan Douglas joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Rigetti will go ahead and make the pitch. 6-3. That's a walk plus. That's going to walk Gross. Gross becomes a 24, and he'll trot to first. Another walk issued by Rigetti. That's his third. Rigetti having some control problems here in the early stages of this game. And here comes second baseman, Dave McKay. McKay is the leading hitter for the Athletics. He is batting a 424 average. He is amazing. 424. He has been really ripping the ball well. He right now is probably the MVP for the A's at this time. Infield is a double play depth. 
And that's a 20. Reggetti throws to first. No, Gross gets back. Now Reggetti will make the pitch to McKay. 5-5 five, five against the switch right. That's a blank. McKay, 1-4. Base hit from McKay. It's a single to left. He continues to hit well. Gross's base running rating is a 2. Single to left, minus 2 is 0. Winfield has a 0 arm in left field. There's not going to be a chance to go to third. Gross will hold it second. McKay has been unbelievable. He is just really hitting the ball well. And here comes the shortstop, Rob Picciolo. Picciolo not doing too bad, hitting 267. That's his average for the season of 81. So we'll see what he does here. Runners at first and second. There is one out. The infield is at double play depth. Strategy roll 18, nothing happening with Rigetti. Picciolo could bunt, but he's not going to. Rick Rags with the pitch. 6-1, strike out one, strike out five, got him, and he goes ahead and gets Picholo. Picholo is a four, but plus three makes him a seven against lefties. The five got him, and that is strikeout number four for Reggetti. He's either striking out runners or giving up walks. And I know right now that the Yankee manager is not enjoying this at this time, but there are two away. And now we will see Henderson. Henderson walked his first time up. Strategy roll coming in. And that is a 10. Nothing happening there. Reggetti, he will make the pitch to Henderson. Reggetti, 4-2. That's a blank. Henderson swings. 6-1. Base hit. Left field single for Henderson. Will it score gross? Gross's base running rating is a 2. With two outs of 3. Single to left to get to home, plus one is four. Winfield, a zero arm. A one to four, Gross will score. And oh, it's a six. There could be an out. There could be an out. It has a zero arm, a one to three, there could be an out. It is a six. Gross is going to hold it third. He will not come in to score. As Winfield fired that ball in quickly, and Gross had to hold it third as they could not get the go-ahead run early, but it is a single for Henderson, and the bases are loaded. And here comes Murphy. Murphy walked his first time up. They go talk to Rags on the mound, try to settle him down a little bit. And now we'll go a bandit pitch. Raggetti having some control issues. He's already walked three batters. Two outs, bottom of the second. The A's must win this game. The Yankees do have a game in the pocket. Strategy roll, that's a 16, no play. But, of course, if you're the Yankees, you want to put the A's away now. You don't want a game seven. Reggetti with the pitch. Two, five, against the lefty, strikeout, plus eight. Got him, struck him out. And Reggetti strikes out the side. A big strikeout on Murphy. He got him. No runs. Two hits. It was a sing two singles a walk, but all three outs were Ks by Rigetti. That's his fifth strikeout of the game. And that is a big opportunity gone. Big opportunity gone by the A's. After two, still no score. Stadium groans. <sighs> Rigetti. <laughs> What's the matter? How come I got no Yankee fans in the chat? Doesn't anybody in the chat like the Yankees? <laughs> we go to the top of the third. Leading off for the Yankees will be the catcher, Rick Cerrone. He's having a pretty good postseason himself. He's batting 321. He's the second leading hitter on the Yankees in the playoffs. McCaddy was hoping the A's would get some runs to help him out. McCaddy with the pitch. 3-1. That's an automatic out. It's going to be a good start, and it's a fly out to center. Nice job by McCaddy. 
Here's right fielder Oscar Gamble. Gamble is in there for Lou Pinella, who was injured and is out for the entire ALCS. He can return for the World Series if the Yankees get there. Gamble batting two for 17. He's not done a good job at that position. 2-1. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum, 4-3. And he grounds one to third. That's going to be the second out. Gamble goes out there. And now here is Randolph. Randolph is 0-1. for 1. Two outs. McCaddy looks in. He'll make the pitch. 4-4, four, four, strikeout 14, that is high. Randolph, 3-3, three, three, it's a ground ball to second base. McKay is up with it and fires to first to get the speedy Randolph, and the inning is over. 1-2-3, go the Yankees. McKay is doing his job, but the A's are not getting runs. We go to the bottom of the third. Cliff Johnson leads off for the Athletics. He is 0 for 1. Rags goes ahead. He deals. 5-1. That's an automatic out. And it will be a ground ball to short. Taken care of there by Milburn. That is out number 1. One down. Here comes Armis. Armis is 0 for 1. Armis having a very rough postseason. Only batting 182. Reggetti, 5-4. That's an error on a grounder. Armis, 1-3. And that is a ground ball. It's hit to Randolph. Randolph's error rating is a 6. That's a 6. It gets by him under the glove. That's going to be an error on Randolph. Armis is going to get to first on an error by Willie Randolph. It just went under his glove. It takes a bad bounce, but Randolph still should have had it. They're going to charge an error. It's going to be an E4. First error on the Yankees. It allows Armis to reach first. Frank Wayne Scott joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. Rough day of treatments. I uh, hope you're feeling okay there, Mr. W. Here comes Heath Barr. Heath is 0 for 1. Struck out his first time up. Infield is at double play depth. Armis on an eight, not doing anything. Rags will look in and Heath. And here comes the pitch. Six, four. Wild pitch, five. No, but it's a possible pass ball. Cerrone has a pass ball rating of three, and he will make the play. And that's going to be ball one. That is ball one. Nice play by Cerrone. He doesn't let it get past him. That would have been a pass ball. Reggetti will try again. 6-6, six, six. hit by pitch, 6, that's too high. Heath, 6-2, and against the lefty, base hit right past third, a single. Armis, a base running rating of 4, but not fast enough. He'll have to hold at second as it gets by and the left field, and Armis will hold at second base. Runners at first and second. Once again, the A's got something going on. Here is Newman. Newman is 0 for 1. Infield is still at double play depth. And that is a 16. Nothing happening. Runners at first and second. Reggetti again in a jam. But the A's have not been able to get runners in. Reggetti with the pitch. 1-2. That's a range play. Newman. 3-3. Three, three. It's a ball hit to center field. That is a 15. Against the lefty, it's too high, but it's a range play to center field. So it's called upon Mumphrey. He's chasing after it. Mumphrey's range is a 4. He's got it. Out number 2. Armis becomes a base running rating of 2 on a fly out to center field, and he is going to go to 3rd. Armis does take off. And he gets the third base, but there are now two outs. Oh, nice play by Mumphrey out in center. And here comes Gross. Gross walked his first time up. There are two outs. Strat, one. Armis not doing anything, and I'm not going to send Heath. Actually, it's a zero either way, so nothing happening. Rags will pitch to Gross. Again, the A's have runners on base. 
Can Rigetti go ahead and get out of another jam? Rags, 1-6. Walk plus any walk gross again. Rigetti walks gross, and now the bases are loaded. That is the fourth walk issued by Rigetti, and that now brings the A's' best hitter to the plate in Dave McKay. McKay got a single his first time up. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum hoping McKay, who's batting over 400 in this postseason, unbelievably so, can continue to hit. Strategy roll. That's a seven. Nothing happening. Rags has to make a pitch. Two outs. Bottom of the third. Rags with the pitch. 5-2. Against the switch right. That's a blank. Against the right-handed switch, that's a blank. McKay will swing. Four, five, and it's a line drive right back to Rags, and he snares it. Side retired. A liner right back to Rags, and he makes the catch, and that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, one error, a walk. Again, with bases met on base, and the A's cannot get any in. After three, still no score. Stadium groans. <sighs> and I believe that's five men left on base so far. And I usually don't keep track of that stat, but I may just start doing, I may do that for the World Series. We go to the top of the fourth, still no score here. The A's again had a great chance, but couldn't do it. Leading off will be Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey is 0 for 1. McCaddy, he looks in and he will make the pitch. 2-5, that is a blank. Mumphrey, 5-1, it's a fly ball to left. Henderson will make the catch. One out, and here is Winfield. Winfield walked his first time out. McCaddy will pitch. 1-4, again with the plank. Winfield, 6-3. It's a line drive hit to first, and Newman's got it. Out number two. A line out to first. Nice play by Newman. And now here comes Mr. October. Jackson is 0 for 1. McCaddy looking in on Jackson. Again, he must be careful with him. McCaddy sets in. Here comes the pitch. 3-5. Strikeout 10, and he got him. Struck out Jackson to retire the side. 1-2-3. Go the Yankees as we go to the bottom of the fourth. McCaddy doing everything he can to keep the Yankees from getting, from getting runs. Bottom of the fourth inning, Rob Picciolo leads off for Oakland. He is 0 for 1. Rags will get in there, and he will deal it. 4-3 against a righty. That's a blank. Picciolo, 1-4. That's a ball hit to right field. That is a 10 against the lefty. Picciolo hits one deep into right field. It's going to roll around the corner. Picciolo rounding second. Slides into third. Safe. Triple. Pizzolo leads off with a triple. And the go-ahead run is at third. But the Athletics have had trouble getting in, getting runs in. But Pizzolo gets a run there, and it is a triple for him. And here is Henderson. The infield is in by the Yankees. Henderson is one for one, singled and walked. Strategy roll. That is a four. Nothing happening there. Rags looks in on Picciolo. Rigetti now ready to make the pitch to Ricky. Rigetti with the pitch. Four, five, strikeout, 16. That is just too high. Henderson at 12. Plus three is 15. The 16 is high. Henderson, three, six, base hit, pass second base, and the A's will take the lead. 
Single pass second. Picholo comes in to score. one nothing A's. Stadium cheers. Yay! A base hit by Henderson will bring the run in. And Henderson, of course, is a major threat at first. And here comes Murphy. Murphy is 0 for 1. Infield, a double play depth. Henderson, a definite stealing threat. That's an 11, though. He does not get the jump. He will stay put. Rigetti holds him. Rigetti will now make the pitch to Murphy. 5-5 five, five against the lefty. Strikeout plus. Got him with a 2. Struck him out. Strikeout number six for Rigetti. One down. One out, and here comes Johnson. Johnson is 0 for 2. Does Ricky get another chance at the jump? An 11, he does not. Rigetti holds him. Johnson will settle in on Rags. Runner, another big run at first base. Ricky Rigetti with the pitch. 5-6, that's a possible error. Johnson, 3-5, it is a base hit to left field, that's a single. It's hit to Winfield, his error rating is a 4, that's a 13. There won't be an error, normal runner advancement. Henderson, base running rating of 5. Single to left, minus 2. Winfield, 0 arm, a 1-3. to three. A 1-3, to three. Henderson gets to third. And oh, there could be an out. It's fired it and the ball is thrown. The ball is thrown by Winfield. A one to three, there could be an out. It is a five. No, Henderson puts on the brakes, and he will hold that second. Johnson does get a hit, but Henderson, as fast as he was, saw Winfield throw that ball in quickly, and he decides to hold it second. Probably a smart, a smart call. Here comes Armis. Armis reached on an error his last time up. He is 0 for 2, though. Runners at first and second. Strategy roll. Henderson gets the jump to go to third. 14 plus 1 is 15. Cerrone is a 0. I'm going to send him. Cerrone is on. Henderson on his way to steal third. He's there on a... He, and Johnson's not, not... No double steal. Johnson stays at first. Henderson on his way to third. A 1-15, to 15, he is safe. And he's thrown out at third by Cerrone on a 16. You gotta be kidding me. Henderson is out. Cerrone, a 1-15. to 15. Cerrone had a chance. He fires the third, and Henderson is just out. Two down. Oh, Henderson thrown out at third. Rick Cerrone makes a great throw to third to get him. Two down now. And Armis will still bat. Rerolling the strategy again. Nothing happening this time. Rags will make the pitch. 1-4 against the righty. That's blank. Armis, 1-6. And that's going to be a fly ball to right field. Getting over there is going to be Gamble, and he will make the catch and retire the side. One run on three hits, but a thrown out by Henderson at third base. That may have been a big run, but the A's are on the board. It is one to nothing in favor of Oakland. Midlife crisis joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. What happens if you double steal? Nothing special. If you do a double steal, you just decide where the throw is going to to try to get someone out. It's really not going to matter where you throw the ball except on by the stolen base rating. Maybe in a teaching game I'll try to do one if it comes up. A double steal, like I said, if, if they don't have to do a double steal, you can do one. It just depends where you throw the ball to try to get the out. We go to the top of the fifth. A's lead one to nothing on a big play. I know it does. I know, but I tried to. But the thing was, is that I didn't get the jump with. I didn't get the jump 
with Johnson. He didn't get the jump. <clears throat> You'll have to see it again later there, midlife. McCaddy will now come on to pitch. Top of the fifth, one nothing. Larry Milburn will come on to come out back, and he is 0 for 1. McCaddy, he'll go ahead and make the pitch. 2 5. That is a blank. Milburn, 5 2. Ground ball to short, taken care of by Picholo, out number one. One man down, and here comes Nettles. Nettles is 0 for 1. He's not had a good postseason besides being injured half of this ALCS. McCaddy, 5-5, five, five, strikeout 16. That is too high. Nettles, 5-1. It's a fly ball to left. Henderson will move under it. He will make the play. Two outs. Two men down, and here comes Revering. Revering is 0 for 1. McCaddy will settle in on revering. There are two outs. one nothing A's. A's trying to tie the series up and have a game seven tomorrow night. McCaddy, 5-5. Five, five. A strikeout, 12. Got him, struck him out. Revering is an 11, plus three is 14. He got him. And that is strikeout number two for McCaddy. And the Yankees will go one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the fifth now. Rags comes up to pitch. Coming up for Oakland will be Mike Heath. Heath is one for two. He has a single. Bottom of the fifth inning, A's lead 1-0 in a pitcher's duel between Rags and McCaddy. Rags, 5-4. That's an error on a grounder. Heath, 5-6. And it's a, it is a ground ball. It's a ground ball to short. That ball is it to Milburn. His error rating is an 11. That's a 7. He picks it up, tries to make the transfer. He drops it. Heath is safe. That's going to be an E6 on Milburn. He makes an error. And Heath is safe at first. And that is the second error on the Yankees in this game. As Rodriguez platooning with Nettles. No, Rodriguez only can bat. He only was able to bat because Nettles was hurt. Rodriguez, Aurelio Rodriguez did not have enough at bats to platoon with Nettles. Nettles was the main man at third. So Heath is on at first, and here comes Newman. Newman is 0 for 2. Infield is at double play depth. And yes, Happy New Year to you, MLC. Heath on at first. Rigetti again has to deal with an error. That's an 8. Heath stays put. Rags will pitch to Newman. Rags, 6-6. Six, six. Hit by pitch, 3. That is too high. Newman, 2-2, two, two. it's a fly ball to center. Mumfrey will get to it for the out. One down, and the batter will be Gross. Gross has walked twice. He's 0 for 0. One out. Heath, anything happening? Nope, not with a 9. Rags will get set to make the pitch to Gross. Rags, 1-5, that's at the park. Oakland Coliseum, 3-3. Three, three. It is a home run to the pole side against the lefty. Gross needs a 15 or lower. That's a 14. Kaboom! That ball is high. That ball is deep going to right field. Going back for it is Gamble. He leaps way out of here. Home run, Wayne Gross. Gross goes ahead and pulls one off thanks to Oakland Coliseum as the wind took that one and sent it over the right field fence, barely, clear, barely clearing it by about maybe 10 feet. Home run, Gross. A two-run bomb by Wayne Gross, and the A's now lead three to nothing. Stadium cheers. Yay! Gross is having a very tough postseason. 
who came into this game batting 077 by his first hit of this game after two walks as a two-run bomb. And here comes McKay. McKay is one for two, has a single. Still one out here on the bottom of the fifth. The A's holding a 3-0 lead. Reggetti will still continue to pitch. 4-4, four, four. that's a range play. McKay, 5-5, five, five. and that is going to be a base hit pass short, but it is a range play first for Milburn. Milburn's range is a three, and he won't get it. Base hit. McKay gets another hit of the postseason. Single for McKay. He will hold that first. Wayne Gross gets a big homer to put the A's up 3 nothing. And now here is Picciolo after McKay hits a single. The A's are now beginning to get the runs in. Picciolo, one for two. He hit a triple his last time up. Infield is at double play depth. Strategy roll, 14. Nothing happening there. Can you say game seven? Not so fast, Mr. Wayne Scott. You know how leads can quickly evaporate an inside pitch. Raghetti, one, three, strikeout six, and he got him. He gets Picciolo. And that is strikeout number seven for Raghetti. Picciolo against the lefties a four, but plus three makes him a seven. The six was good, and there are now two outs. Two outs, and here comes Henderson. Henderson, two for two. Two singles and a walk. McKay on at first. That is a 10. Nothing happening there. Rigetti will settle in on Henderson. He'll make the pitch. Two, four, strikeout seven, and he got him. He gets Henderson, and that will retire the side. That is strikeout number eight for Rigetti. And Rigetti is now tired. With after Henderson, he is tired. But two runs come in for Oakland on two hits and an error. The error definitely hurt because the A's got an extra run. A two-run bomb by Wayne Gross. After five, it is now 3-0 in favor of the A's. The swinging A's are finally getting runs. But can they hold the lead? Here comes McCaddy as we go to the top of the sixth. McCaddy has been exemplary so far. Leading off for the Yankees will be Rick Cerrone. Cerrone is 0 for 1. McCaddy, he will settle in there and make the pitch. 5-2, walk, 5, and yes, he walked him. Cerrone will trot down to first. That is a base on ball. That's the second walk issued by McCaddy. And here comes Gamble. Gamble is 0 for 1. He's had a rough postseason in place of Lou Pinella. Enfield is a double play depth. Strategy roll, that is a 17. Uh, nothing happening there. That is correct, MLC. You are right. Cerrone on it first. McCaddy will make the pitch. 3-3, three, three, error on a grounder. Gamble, 2-1. That is a ground ball. It's a ground ball to second. The ball is hit to McKay. McKay's error rating is a 9. That's an 11. He won't make an error. Can they turn to? 2-1-2. Two, two. Shortstop, pickle, Picciolo, pivot, minus 1. The only way they get a double play is on a 1. No, Cerrone will make it to second. It was a slow rolling grounder. To McKay, he almost bobbled it. By the time he had control, the only play he had was the first, two to, and that is one out. One away, and here comes Randolph. Cerrone moves to second. Randolph is 0 for 2. Infield is now back with, with one out. Anything on Strat? No, Cerrone stays at second base. McCaddy will look in on Randolph. Here it comes. 4-5 against the righty. Strikeout 10. 
That is too high. Randolph gets a shot to swing. 4-1, and it's a ground ball right back to McCaddy. McCaddy will have it. He will throw to first for out number two. The only way Sarone gets the third is on a one. He does not. He stays put. A ground ball back to McCaddy on a comebacker. Two down. And here comes Mumphrey. Mumphrey is 0 for 2. Two outs here, top of the six. Three nothing A's. Sarone on it second. Strat. Three. No play. Sarone stays where he is. McCaddy will get in there. He will make the pitch. Two, four. Possible error. Mumphrey. Four, six. And that's a ball hit to center field. That is an 18 against the righty. It's going to be too high. It's a fly ball to center field. The ball is hit to Murphy. Murphy's error rating is a three. On a one or three, he's going to drop it, and he does not. He makes the catch on a six, and the side is retired. Nice play by Murphy on a fly ball to center. But it's good enough as Murphy makes the catch and retires the side, and the Yankees are unable to get the run in. As we go to the bottom of the sixth. Leading off for the A's will be Dwayne Murphy. Murphy is, is, is 0 for 2, struck out twice. Reggetti is going to stay out there. Although he is tired, the Yankees will see how if he can get through the sixth inning. Reggetti with the pitch. 5-2 against the lefty. Strikeout plus the 11 gets him. Struck him out. And that is going to be strikeout number nine for Reggetti. He is getting, he is striking out batters, but he made a couple of mistakes. Also, the two errors didn't help much. Here's Johnson. Johnson is one for two. Reggetti will get in on Johnson. And here's the pitch. 4-3 against the righty. That's a blank. Johnson, 3-3. Three, three. Base hit right past third. That's a single. Johnson will go to first. It's his second hit of the game. And now here comes Armis. Armis is 0 for 3, although he did reach on an error. One out. Infield is at double play depth. Bottom of the sixth. Reggetti is going to continue to pitch just a little longer. Armis does not hit, does, has some issues sometimes against lefties. Armis is 0 for 3. Is Johnson going to do anything? No. Reggetti looks in, fires, 6 5. And that is going to be a base hit. That's a single right up the middle. And that hits his fatigue result. Base hit off Reggetti. Johnson's base running rating is a two. He won't make it to third. He will hold it second. And that is it for Rags. He is done. Armis comes through with a hit. And now runners at first and second. The batter is Heath. And Reggetti has to come out. That is all for Reggetti. Another bad game for Dave Reggetti. For a pitcher with a 205 average, he has not been that good in this postseason. The Yankees will go to the bullpen. And coming on to pitch for the Yankees will be Ron Davis. Four wins, five losses, six saves. A 2-7-1 ERA. So here comes Davis now to pitch for the Yankees here in the bottom of the sixth. Heath is up. He is one for three. Reached on an error and scored with a single. Johnson at second. Armis at first. That is a three. Nothing happening with Johnson. He'll stay put. Davis will go ahead and make the pitch. 4-2. Strikeout 13 that's too high. Heath, 6-6. Six, six. It's a ground ball to third. It's a ground ball to third, and that is hit towards the line. If a double player force, it would go 5-3. So there's not going to be a pivot. So a ground ball to third. 
Heath, two. Minus one is a one. Infield halfway is a two. There's no pivot. So it's going to be either. So a one to two, it's a five, three double play. It is a three, so no. So Johnson, the play is made at the line, and they're going to take the force out at third. Armis goes to second, and Heath does it first. There are two outs. So they do get the force out on the fielder's choice. And here comes Newman. Newman is 0 for 3, but I kind of think he's due to make a big hit here. Runners at first and second. Athletics doing a good job on the Yankees with a 3-0 lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Strategy roll, 11, nothing happening. Davis will set in on Newman. Here comes the pitch. 4-5. Against the righty, it's a home run result. Against a right-handed pitcher, Newman needs a 7. The 20 is too high. Oh, Newman misses a meatball. It's a 3-1, but he does get a base hit to right. It's a single. Newman does get a single on it, so we got some of it. He put, he put the tomato sauce on it, but didn't put the cheese, the ricotta cheese, but he gets a base hit. Will it score Armis? Armis, a base running rating of four, with two outs becomes a five. Single to right, plus one is six. Right fielder, right fielder gamble, a plus one is seven. There's not going to be a throw home. Armis will score. Heath, a base running rating of two, with two outs becomes a three. Single to right, plus two is... Plus, Plus one, I'm sorry, plus two is five. Gamble plus one is six. There's not a throw to third. Heath goes to first. Newman, Newman, Heath goes to third. Newman goes to first. Four nothing A's. Stadium cheers. Yay. And it looks like a game seven is getting more closer and closer by the inning. As Jeff Newman gets himself an RBI single, runners at the corners, and here is Gross. Gross got a two-run bomb his last time up. So he's one for one with a homer with two walks. Two outs, bottom of the sixth, four nothing A's. Heath on at third. Newman on at first. Strategy rolls are still on. The 19, nothing happening. Gross is not going to bunt. Davis will make the pitch. 6-3. That's a possible error. Gross. 1-2. It's a fly ball to right field. That ball is hit to Gamble. Gamble has an error rating of zero. He's not going to make an error out there. He will make the catch, and that will retire the side. One run on three hits for Oakland as they right now are nine outs away from a game seven. It's still four nothing here after six, and we know anything is still possible. D. Scott. Howard joins us here at Oakland Coliseum. We go to the top of the seventh inning. The A's lead 4-0 here in game six of this ALCS. Top of the seventh, leading off for the Yankees will be Dave Winfield. McCaddy's got plenty of gas. Winfield is 0 for 1. He did walk in the game. McCaddy will make the pitch to Winfield. 3-2. That's a walk plus, and that is going to walk Winfield. He'll trot to first. McCaddy gives up a leadoff walk. Second walk issued to Winfield. Third walk of the game by McCaddy. And here comes the very dangerous Jackson, who can easily cut the lead in half with a swing. But Jackson is 0 for 2. Infield to double play depth. Strategy rolls are off. McCaddy will pitch. 6-6, six, six. automatic out, and it's going to be a fly ball to left. Henderson will get to it, and will make the catch. Out number one, Jackson is not doing anything so far. 
One down. Here comes Milburn. Milburn is 0 for 2. Winfield still on at first. McCaddy, 5-4. Hit by pitch, 6. That's high. Milburn, a 2-2. And it's a base hit to left field for Milburn. He gets a single. Winfield, a base running rating of 5. Single to left, minus 2 is 3. Henderson, a minus 2 arm. The only way Winfield gets the third is on a 1. He does. Holy cow. Winfield's trying for it. And he slides into third and just got in there. Milburn's base running rating is a four. Does he take second? Yes, he does on the throw. And Milburn is safe at second. And the Yankees are in business for the first time really tonight. And that was the first hit off of McCaddy in this game. He went six and a thirds of no hit ball. But now the Yankees have runners at second and third. And here is Nettles. Nettles is 0 for 2. Nettles can make this a one run game with one swing. The infield. Ugh. I think with Winfield, as good a base runner he is, I think you just play the infield back and just. Get an out here. You got to be careful. A uh, range play can really hurt you here. But you know what? I'll call the infield in. Infield in anyway. McCaddy will make the pitch to Nettles. Now the Yankees are in business for the first time in the game. McCaddy with the pitch. 2-5. That is a blank. Nettles will swing. 2-3 against the righty. It's a ground ball to short. It's a ground ball to the shortstop. Winfield is going to come on home and try to get a run on the board. His base running rating is a three with the infield in. A one, two, or three, the throw comes to the plate. Actually, you know what? I am not going to do that. The throw's going to go to first and get the out and let the run score. You're the A's. Right now you're leading. You need outs because Winfield would have had a very good chance of scoring. So the throw goes to first. Winfield will come in. He will score. Milburn, the only way he can, that was a ground ball to third. So Milburn, the only way he can get the third is on a six. He does, and he stays put. Nettles is out, two down. But the Yankees are now have a run on the board. And I think that's the right call. You're the A's. Now you're trying to get outs. So it's a ground ball to third. Coming in to score is Winfield, and, and Milburn stays at second. It's now a 4-1 to one game. Here comes Revering. Revering is 0 for 2. The infield, now with two outs, will go back. Milburn on at second. McCaddy, the Yankees finally get on the board. McCaddy, strategy rolls are back on. That is a 12, no happening. McCaddy will make the pitch. 3-1. That's an automatic out. And it will be a fly ball to left. Henderson's got the room. He will make the catch and retire the side. But the Yankees get one run on one hit and a walk. And they are on the scoreboard. This game is not over yet, even though it's a three-run lead. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game and California dreaming. I'll be right back. Or actually, I left my heart in San Francisco, even though they are in Oakland. Then the bottom of the seven. We're running out of time here. Uh, 
If the Athletics win this game tonight, tomorrow night will be game seven of the 81 ALCS. Tommy John will go for the Yankees, and Rick Langford will go for the A's. Langford got destroyed in his start here against John, with John. It could, but it could be a much different game. If the Yankees somehow come back and win this game, there will be nothing tomorrow. But either if we have a game tomorrow or not, Saturday we will have the Inside Pitch Season Selection Show. The World Series will be starting on Monday no matter what. I will not do the start on Sunday. We'll start on Monday with the World Series. So for those of you that want to watch the elimination of all the seasons that Inside Pitch has, and you guys will get to vote on the on one of the four seasons that will be decided. So I know everybody loves that show, so I'm expecting everyone, all of my subs that love Inside Pitch or this channel, to show up. So no matter what happens tonight, the season selection show, our fourth selection show will be Saturday night and I'll probably start at eight o'clock so don't miss that one and or tomorrow night will be game seven of this ALCS be there or be square bottom of the seventh the A's have a four to one lead here the Yankees lead this series three games to two A's trying to get to a game seven. Yankees trying to get to the World Series. Leading off for the Athletics will be Dave McKay. McKay is two for three. He has two singles. Davis will stay out there and pitch. He will stay out there and pitch. Although McKay hits righties a little better. Davis will go ahead and pitch it. 5-3 against the switch left. That's a blank. McKay, 4-6, and that's a ground ball to second base. Randolph throws to first for the out. One down, and here comes Picciolo. Picciolo, one for three, has a triple tonight. Davis looking in on Picciolo. Davis, 5-1, that's an automatic out. And it will be a fly ball to center. Mumphrey will get to it. He will make the catch for out number two. Two outs, and here's Henderson. Henderson is two for three, two singles. Davis gets in there, gets the sign from Cerrone. Davis will make the pitch. It's a 5-2. Strikeout 19, that is high. Henderson, 1-4. It's a fly ball to center. Mumphrey will camp under it. He will make the catch. 1-2-3, go the A's. So the Yankees got a run in the top of the seventh. They didn't give any back. After seven, 4-1, Athletics. We go to the top of the eighth. Steve McCaddy, he still has a he still has quite a bit left in the tank. He pitched a 34 batter average in 81. They're going to keep him out there. He's their best chance to get through this game. Rick Cerrone leads off for the Yankees. He is 0 for 1 in the top of the eighth inning. McCaddy, he will go ahead and make the pitch. 6-2, error on a throw. Cerrone, 5-4. It's a line drive to short. Caught by Picciolo, out number one. No error, of course. And the batter now will be Gamble. Gamble is 0-2. McCaddy will go ahead and make the pitch. 3-5. Strikeout 20. That is high. Gamble, 2-6, and it's a fly ball to left. Ricky Henderson will move over there. He's got it, two down. Here's Randolph. Randolph is 0-3. for 3. McCaddy has been unbelievable tonight. He wishes the A's had him for game seven, but you have to get, but you needed him really to get to a game seven and put it in the hands of Langford if the A's can hold on the win. McCaddy, 
two, six, strikeout, seven, and he got him. Cold strike three on Randolph, and Randolph knows it was a good pitch, and he will go back to the bench and retire the side. And that is strikeout number three for McCaddy. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Still four to one in favor of the A's. The Yankees have absolutely no answer for McCaddy. Bottom of the eighth inning. And here comes Dwayne Murphy to lead it off for Oakland. Murphy is 0 for 3. He got the hat trick. He struck out three times. Davis is Davis is going to pitch to Murphy. He will be tired after him, though. Davis will pitch. 5-4. That's at the park. Oakland Coliseum. 1-5. It's a home run to the opposite field. Against the righty. Murphy's a 17 or lower. That's a 10. Kaboom! High, deep, gone. Home run, Dwayne Murphy. Solo blast by Murphy. A solo home run by Murphy, and the A's now lead it 5-1. to one. Stadium and Yankee haters cheer. Yay! Murphy gets a big blast after striking out three times and walk. And it is now a 5-1 to one lead by the A's. And here comes Cliff Johnson. And that's going to be it for Ron Davis. As they got to let him go out of there. They got three righties coming up now for the Yankees. For the A's. And the Yankees are going to go ahead and bring out George Frazier. No wins, a loss, three saves. A 1-6-3 ERA. Frazier is going to try to come out here and end this inning. A's now lead 5-1. to one. Frazier on the mound. And here comes Johnson. Johnson is 2 for 4. Frazier with the pitch. 1-3. That is a blank. Johnson, 6-5. Line drive to third. Nettles has got it, and that's an out. One down. And here comes Armis. Armis is one for is one for four tonight. Got a single and scored. Frazier sets in and he will make the pitch. Frazier, 5-4, strikeout 16, and he got him. He gets Armis. And that is the second out. Two outs. And here comes Heath. Heath is one for four, has a single, reached on an error, and scored. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum enjoying it. Frazier will make the pitch. 6-3, that's a blank. Heath, 2-4, it's a base hit to left field. Heath gets a single. He will hold it first. Another hit for Heath. The A's are saying, what, you think you want to get to the World Series that quickly? We're going to have another game to play here. Here's Newman. Newman is one for four. Heath gets in there on, on first base. Strategy rolls are off. Frazier with the pitch. 5-4, strikeout, 15, that's high. Newman, 6-6, six, six, base hit the left field. Newman gets a single. Heat's base running rating is a three with two outs. Single to left, minus two. Left fielder, Winfield, zero arm. A one is the only way Heath gets to second. He doesn't. He holds it. That's how it gets to third. He holds it second. And Newman gets a hit. Second hit of the game by Newman as the A's are trying to get more runs. They know the Yankee lineup is explosive. Here is Gross. Gross is one for two. He has a two-run bomb in the game. Two outs here. Bottom of the eighth, five to one. Frazier looking in on Gross. Frazier will make the pitch. It's a one-one. That's at the park. 
Oakland Coliseum, 4-6, and it is a home run to center field against the righty. Gross needs a 15. That is a 9. Gross does it again. Kaboom! High, deep, gone. Three-run homer by Wayne Gross. Wayne Gross getting help from the ballpark today. That is a three-run bomb. Stadium and Yankee haters cheer. Yay, yay. Wayne Gross gets his second homer of the game. He is having an awful postseason average-wise, but he just made up for it today. Three-run bomb, 8-1 to one Athletics. They are pouring it on. Four runs here in this inning. And here comes McKay. McKay is two for four. Frazier is going to come out of the game as he is. In a, actually, they're going to just leave him in there because the Yankees are already thinking. They're thinking about game seven. Actually, you know what? No, Frazier's going to come out. McKay is two for four. It is now an eight to one A's lead. And I think they're going to bring in a lefty to pitch to McKay. And coming on to pitch for the Yankees is going to be Rudy May. Mostly a starter, but Rudy May did make the postseason as a relief pitcher. Six wins, 11 losses to save, a 4-1-4 ERA. I'm not 100% sure. I think this is his first appearance in this postseason. So here is Rudy May. He'll pitch to McKay. Two outs, bottom of the eighth, now 8-1 to one Athletics. May with the pitch. 1-1, one, one. that's a pitcher result. McKay, a switch hitter, hitting from the right side. A 1-4 to four is a single up the middle. The 20 is high. McKay, 2-6, and it's a ground ball to second. Randolph is up with it. Throws to first. Side retired. Four runs on four hits. A solo bomb by Murphy. A three-run bomb by Gross. And after eight innings of play, the A's are in firm command. Three outs away from a game seven. Eight to one athletics. But will we see some ninth inning magic? Can the Yankees actually score enough runs to get this game in the ninth inning magic? McCaddy has been incredible tonight. McCaddy is not tired. He is still pretty strong. He is still pretty strong, and he will pitch. Top of the ninth inning. Jerry Mumphrey leads off for the Yankees, and he is 0 for 3. McCaddy looking in on Mumphrey. They're going to try to see if he can go the distance. He can pitch to six batters before retiring. McCaddy, 6-3. That's a walk plus. That 15 is going to walk Mumphrey, and he walks the leadoff batter. What? Did you expect a 1-2-3 closing inning at RJL 5-1-8? I think not. Mumphrey will trot down to first, and here comes Winfield. Winfield is 0 for 1. He's walked twice. Infield is at double play depth. And the strategy rolls are off. McCaddy concentrating on the batters. 8 to 1 A's. McCaddy, 5 6. Automatic out, and it will be a fly ball to right. Going over there is Armis. He makes the catch. One out. One man down, and here comes Jackson. Jackson has had no answer for McCaddy in this game. McC Jackson is 0 for 3. Mumphrey will get ready. He'll stay at first. McCaddy looks in on Jackson. Here's the pitch. 6-5. It's a range play. Jackson, 3-4. Against a right-handed pitcher, it's a basic pass second, but it's a range play for McKay. 
The infield is a double play depth. His range is a two, but a double play, his range is a one. And he won't get it. Base hit for Jackson. Mumphrey, a base running rating of four. He will make third. And Jackson's on first with his first hit of the game. Runners at first and third. And here comes Milburn. Milburn is one for three. Infield stays at double play depth. You need two outs. You cannot give up more than eight, seven runs. McCaddy still pretty out there. He's going to stay out as long as he can. Mumphrey on at third. Jackson at first. McCaddy with the pitch. One six. Pitch a result. Again, Milburn's a switch hitter. Against the lefty, a one to three is an automatic out. The 14 is high. Milburn, one, two. It's a ball hit to left field. That is a 17 against the righty. Milburn just missed it. He just missed a triple, and it's going to be a fly ball to left field. That's going to be the second out. Milburn sacrificed fly rating of a two. He will not bring in Mumphrey that way. He will not bring in Mumphrey that way. Mumphrey has a base running rating of four. A fly ball to left. Henderson a minus two arm. And it is a seven-run lead. I am not going to send Mumphrey to score. He will stay at third. I will call that since I have more than a six-run lead. And if Mumphrey gets thrown out at the plate, that ends the game. Two down. I will not send Mumphrey. So it just goes as a fly out to left. Plus, Henderson is a very good arm. So here comes Nettles. Nettles is 0 for 3. Mumphrey on at third. Jackson on at first. McCaddy looks in on Nettles. Fans here at Oakland Coliseum hoping for a game, this game to end. McCaddy will make the pitch. 3-2. It's a walk plus. Does that 20 walk Nettles? Yes, it does, and the bases are loaded. McCaddy walks Nettles, a walk plus, which makes Nettles a 21, and he, get, and he allows the walk. And the bases are loaded. And here comes Dave Revering. And now the Yankees got to make a decision here. I don't know if they're going to let Revering bet. And I don't think you do. This is the bottom, the top of the ninth inning. We're going to see a pinch hitter for Revering. Bob Watson is going to take over at first base. Revering's going to come out, but the Yankees will bring out Aurelio Rodriguez to pinch hit. It is the ninth inning. I can bring in anybody. So here comes Aurelio Rodriguez to pinch hit for Revering. Revering is 0 for 3. Rodriguez has a 346 average on the card. And he can hit the bomb. This batter against Rodriguez will be McCaddy's fatigue batter. So Rodriguez will go up against McCaddy. There are two outs. Top of the ninth, 8 to 1. A home run does not really hurt you that much. McCaddy will go ahead and make the pick. It's a 6-3. It's a walk plus. The 19 is too high against the righty. Rodriguez would be a 14 on a walk plus. The 19 is high. Rodriguez gets the swing. 6-4. And it is a ground ball to third. Picked up there by Gross. He has it. Pumps once. Pumps once. Pumps twice. Throws to first. That's your game. We will have game seven. The Oakland Athletics come out guns blazing here in the game. Steve McCaddy goes the distance, gets his third win of the postseason. We have a game seven as the A's win this game tonight, eight to one. Stadium cheers. Yay, yay. No runs, one hit for the Yankees, a couple of walks. 
But the Oakland Athletics win this game 8-1. to one. We will have a game 7 in the ALCS. And the Dodgers will have to wait another day to see who they'll be playing. What a job by Steve McCaddy. He goes the distance, gives up no runs on two hits. What a job by McCaddy. And the A's need him to pitch like he did in 81, and he does. What a job by him. Another complete game by McCaddy. That's his second complete game. He's also up for an MVP candidate if the A's can get through, get to the World Series. That's his third win. He's 3-0 with two complete games. Nice job by McCaddy. Final line score coming up. For the Athletics, eight runs on 15 hits and no errors. For the Yankees, one run on two hits and two errors. Those errors were big. The winning pitcher is Steve McCaddy. Goes to three wins and no losses in the postseason. His second complete game. The loss goes to Dave Rigetti, who has really been very ineffective, as good as he was in 81. No wins and two losses and a no decision. No save, of course, as McCaddy went the distance. We will have game seven tomorrow night. And I'm pretty sure nobody will miss that game. As the fans here at Oakland Coliseum are going to get one more game to chew, to watch as this series is tied at three. So tomorrow night, game seven of the American League Championship Series. The New York Yankees against the Oakland Athletics. Series is now tied at three. It will be Tommy John for the Yankees and Rick Langford for the A's. So anything can happen on a game seven, and it usually does. If you're the A's, you wanted the game seven. If you're the Yankees, you know you needed to win tonight. And now it's one game for all the marbles to see who gets to the World Series to play the Dodgers. Will it be a rematch of the 81 World Series with the Yankees and the Dodgers? Or will the A's kick the Yankees out, and it will be all California dreaming? You'll have to wait 24 hours to find out. Steeler fan Frank Wayne Scott, Philip Reynolds, D. Scott Howard, Midlife Crisis, BB BB, Hyalai Heyday, Woodman 564, G Puck, thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so. And make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe. Stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong, and we'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Oakland Athletics win the win tonight here. They clobber the Yankees 8-1. to one. Series is tied 3 games to 3. Game 7 ALCS tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Take care.